Welcome guys to another session on dynamic programming and today the topic is DPV 6.23 mission critical production system. So with that let's dive in. So in this problem there there is a production system with n stages and stage i stage 1 through stage n and each stage has a single machine type machine i mi machine i and there's a probability ri of it working and 1 minus ri of that machine failing each stage also can have redundant copies mi and each machine at s stage cost ci we have been given a budget b and we have to find the number of clones or copies of each stage so now with that let's sketch the solution the first thing is we, we realize that the minimum budget required is c1 plus c2 plus cn because you need one copy of the machine at each stage to even operate this solution this can be distributed over n stages because the budget that is given to us does not necessarily mean we don't really know which um, machine and how many copies of each machine do we need so well, the overall solution looks like a knapsack solution with repetition because we can compute the remaining budget which is b minus b min and that is the budget beyond the minimum required system and now we can distribute that budget over n machines and see which ones and how many of each cop how many of each machines copies do we need but in order to do that what we first define is a list of numbers in this case m1 m2 mn which is the number of clones of each machine that we need to be able to solve the problem and so for any given data point we compute m1 m2 mn as a list and store it for that data point and here's the knapsack with repeat as a solution what we do is that given this variable which keeps track of the m1 m2 mn um, we call it counts and this counts for any given weight we keep count of we keep a list of all the machine counts that are needed to uh, produce that particular budget point or that can be purchased in that budget point and then we compute the optimal um, set of machines for that budget point that's the objective of this uh, knapsack function so we start with counts zero and we initialize that to all ones which is the base point for us because we have to take one every machine one time and so that's the base point for us now from here on we can start our loop from one to b minus b min and in this case we are assuming that the budget can be incremented by one and b minus b min is really the extra budget to buy other machines now we start with this function called value and this value will compute the best probability of success so so for any given data point uh, or budget point we start off with zero and then we iterate over all possible machines and if that machine fits in our extra budget if that machine fits or the cost of that machine fits in the extra budget then we basically compute what we do is we subtract from our current budget the um, cost um, of that machine uh, uh, instead of wi this actually should be ci so from this budget we reduce it by cost ci and then if we can get the count the optimal count for w minus ci then we can increment the ith column by one and get the count for w so to understand this very simply if we got a count zero which is this and the next machine let's say was uh, could be bought with one so when it comes to one and it looks for let's say c c1 then if c1 can be purchased in uh, amount one then we take um, w which is 1 minus wi which is also 1 and so we take 0 which is all 1's and we increment the first by 1 so it becomes 2 1 1 1 
so that's what the counts array would give us or the list would give us now we compute given this counts list we can compute the probability because if we know the number of all the elements then we can compute the probability of success and that is given as a formula in the problem itself but we just plug that formula here given all the m1 m2 mn's we can compute what the probability of success is now we initialize our probability with zero so we keep counting and if our computed value for any machine being used is greater than what we have computed we select that machine to be purchased for that budget cycle and we store that and we keep the counts for that weight as the optimal count and we we know how many of each machines we had purchased now we repeat this loop for every possible machine and compute the most optimal count and then we go to the next we increase the budget and keep going and so when you have gone through all of these the last weight or the budget uh, cycle would be b minus b min and you just return the b minus b min as the count and the counts for that is the answer because that count is the number of machines that have yielded the best value and essentially knapsack with repetition can be used to solve this problem the only catch was that instead of keeping a value we are storing a list of counts and this list of counts gives us the number of times each machine was purchased and the next question really is that um, what is the uh, efficiency of this algorithm and because there are two loops here the first loop is really going to the budget size and the second loop to n the order of this algorithm is nw so that's it for this problem guys and hopefully you understood and liked the solution and if you have questions or concerns please post them below and if you liked it then please hit subscribe and I will bring you more solutions to dynamic programming on this channel and until next time thank you and bye bye